In today's episode, I go a bit zoo crazy in Planet Zoo. Not only are we gonna have one or two sets of animals, we're going to have three, four, five sets of animals. I wanna own the largest zoo, as large as it can be. I want more animals. If you wanna add to my zoo, please click on that like button and I'll add more animals. The more you click that like button, the more animals I get added to my zoo. Look at this, we have 700 guests in our zoo today. That's a pretty good start for the day. And it's only getting better since our zoos are expanding. I mean, look at this habitat. We have three wild dogs in here. Last episode, we had a pup. Oh, look, a little puppy taking a nap down here. Oh, how's it going? Two years old, wow. Wow. Okay, so apparently this puppy has been growing pretty fast. Like we should have two lions, but it's telling me we have five lions now. What happened here? There's a bunch of cubs. Oh, wow. Okay, now I see why people are showing up. I have like three tiny cubs. Look at this little lion cub just hanging out on this gigantic clubhouse. I have so much to do today because I still have more zoo to offer. Because one thing that we have to do for these people is give them more animals to look at, more to enjoy. See, over this way I have a bunch of different pens, habitats, structures made, ready to go. Let's just head over here to our little staff area and let's check out what kind of animals we have in storage. So it looks like we have six animals in storage ready for us to put into their own habitats. A red ruffed lemur. We got lemurs, we got mandrills, and we got Indian peafowls. Oh, okay, so they're just like different types of birds and two different types of monkeys or primates, I think. Ooh, we should definitely send these guys to the clinic before anywhere else. Quarantine. I just wanna see if they're okay to go into their own habitats before I do anything like that. Let's move these other mandrills. Let's move these mandrills to the quarantine area right over here just to see how they're gonna be doing. And then we still have the Indian pea fowls that we need to take care of. I'm pretty sure they'll be fine to go. Let's see if we can try and get them somewhere. Hopefully none of our animals have anything bad and I could just work on their habitats and figuring out which one is gonna go where. Let's try and make ourselves a habitat for the peafowls. Indian peafowls would like a small food bowl. Okay, with, with two of them, I should definitely get two food bowls. Boom, water bowl down. Now, what do peafowls like? How would I find out what a, a peafowl likes? Okay, so a peafowl looks like they'll like a forage box enrichment. Okay, let's try this out. Forage box ready to go. Herb scented marker. Yeah, we kind of want that. We want that for the guests to get a better look at them. They'll look at this little pack and then they'll be able to see them right through the glass. See, they're already kind of excited to see what this zoo is gonna look like. Our red roughed lemurs are ready to go to their habitat. So we should try and make this one spiced up for them because I already have the peafowls figured out. Okay, so it looks like they like themselves a feeding platform. Let's try out a feeding platform like right in the middle. Maybe that should help. What other things do they like? Block of frozen fruit? Okay, okay, they can have a frozen fruit block. That should be fun. A cardboard box? I mean, this is practically the best toy that they have here. Just a cardboard box sitting right there. Climbable branch. Ooh, yeah, we could definitely set some of these down. Where do you think I should put this one down? Probably near the food tray. It looks like everyone passed their quarantine. I gotta make these places fast so I can get these animals in. What more do they, do they think they need? I don't know. I have to get the animals in to do so. Last up, I just need to make a simple thing for my mandrid to enjoy because then, then I can send all of them in at once and figure out what they need fixed up in their habitats. Looks good. Let's try and get these animals in as fast as possible. Where are these guys at? Oh, okay. So these are the mandrills. All right, mandrills. Let's get them scheduled to deliver. Up next, we got the pea fowl. Oh, we still have to get ourselves the red roughed lemurs. We, okay, let's move peacocks over here. And now let's get our red roughed lemurs and move them right into their habitat. Perfect. Awesome. This is going to be fantastic. We're already getting three new species into our zoo. Quarantine staff is full and leaving and these places still look empty. Where are my workers? Oh, I see one. He's right there, right there. Oh, he's dropping off the mandrill. Here he comes, guys. Look, oh, whoa, he's so tiny. Oh, she's so beautiful though. Chonain, oh, hey Chonain. There we go, whoa. Look, this is a mandrill and she just got into her beautiful habitat. I wonder how you like it in here. Do you like the grassland? Actually, I can read up on it. Oh, she doesn't look too social and her habitat isn't too well off on plants and hard shelter. Uh, terrain is looking swell though. Terrain is good for them. I could put more soil in. I could do that very soon. I could do that right now because soil is super easy to add. See, so watch. Soil, soil, soil. 
Look at that. Yes. Okay, I'm green across that board. Climbable objects. They need to have more climbable objects. What kind of climbable objects can I get for their habitat? Climbable locks. Four meters. Oh, yes. They might like that. Do they need to have platforms added? I could always add platforms to some. Do you think they could climb it, though? I don't know if they could. Look, they're taking photos of my new mandrills. All these people just hanging out, just taking photos of the monkeys. Oh, uh, but they need more plants. What kind of plants do you think they'll like? Where are their plants at? I like the, how they're playing together. I need to find more plants for them. Where's their nature at? How big is that? Oh my goodness. Okay, wow. That's a huge climbing area. Uh, okay, that one looks way too big and complex. I should probably just try and build this one. I almost have it. I'm just kind of slow at building, guys. Not gonna lie. But these look great. I'm kind of enjoying this habitat. You like that guy? Do you think you can climb up that? Do they have to get like a, a ramp to do it? That looks good. So now they have a cool way of getting up to the ramp. Oh, maybe one of these coconut trees. Ooh, that does a 5% increase. That's nice. Let's try and add another one here. Oh, perfect. Look, they like the shade. They like the shadows of the trees. Let's probably try and get one of these trees up. I just want to give them good coverage and I want them to enjoy their plants inside of their new habitat, their beautiful habitat. Oh, they love the plants, but they need more coverage. One more palm tree should do it. One nice palm tree from the sun. They just need more hard shelter and they should be good to go. Perfect. Green across the board. It looks like our mandrills are enjoying enjoying their habitat. That's good. That's good. I like the way the trees are really just sprouting out of it. But let's try out what's going on with our red roughed lemurs. What's going on, guys? Yeah, I figured they wouldn't like their plants and their features. What kind of plants do they like? Let's figure it out. The same biome, tropical. Perfect. I just did a bunch of work with a bunch of tropical stuff already. Let's give them a log. Nice. Just sitting in their ground. That might be cool. Oh, do you guys like these palm trees near your bedding? All right, let's put one big tree right there. Yes. Awesome. It creates like a little back area for them to just like chill out and enjoy the shadows right in their bedding. Cool. Oh man. And they've got plenty of coverage now to deal with. They probably want some more, like probably not too tall of ones. These probably should be nice. Perfect. Good coverage. That's great. I just want to make sure these guys have plenty of shade. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And they look like they have plenty of toys too. How are you guys doing down here? You guys look great. Tahini, my red roughed lemur. They just need more hard shelters and then they should be able to call their habitat home. Probably want something a little bit spacious, a little bit bigger. Oh, that one has a flat top. Maybe they'll try and climb on top of it too. Awesome. Yes. Cleared out all of that. They probably just want toys and not food toys. How about mirrors? Yes. Those mirrors did a number on them. That was perfect. And if they can get it, I'm going to give them one little ball up here. Maybe they'll like that. There we go. Perfect. Oh, and look, it's sliding off the roof. All right. So that one is clear. We got our mandrill and we got our red roughed lemurs hanging out, enjoying their little stuff. Look, he's hanging out with his mirrors. Let's go check on our pea fowls. Our pea fowls are our last one. We did have a bit of work on them, but we just have not cleared up everything. How are you guys feeling, huh? Ooh, they do need a hard shelter. No problem. I can do that just fine. I just look at their bed and shelters and find something they'll like. Tropical grassland and temperate. So you guys could enjoy a fair amount of space. You should want some sort of shelter. Okay, let's try this one. Well, this could be cool. Cool. Watch this. I'm just going to aim it like so. Perfect. And now they have hard shelter. They should be covered by hard shelter now. Look at these pea fowls just hanging out. Do you guys like this terrain? Uh, apparently so. Yeah. I could make some more short grass just to show them off a bit better because yeah, there's a lot of long grass for them and they don't need that much long grass. We just opened three new exhibits and we've just crossed over a thousand people inside of our zoo, guys. That's a lot. Oh, wow. I mean, of course, they're coming over here to check out our tigers. Look, we've got a family of tigers. We have like five of them. That's the mom, the dad, and the beautiful cubs. What's going on, puppers? How you going? This is Mayma, was the mother. Yeah, she just had her puppy. Oh, hey, puppy. How's it going? Habitat cleanliness is at risk. Well, wait a minute. Okay, Habitat 3 happens to be our key fowl facility. So we need to do something about that. How do I fix this facility? I have to hit pause on the game real quick. Okay, so we can have one of our keepers come in and they could clean up the habitat. Let's try that one out and let's try and figure out a way to clean up this habitat from itself. Nice, we have sprinklers going. Let's make sure we have plenty of water going this way too. Cause I know our facility has to have water in order to use it. Yeah, see look, cause right now the sprinkler doesn't have any water reaching it. So we have to place 
a new water filter over this direction. Ooh, but I have to make sure that no customer can see this water filter because, you know, it does kind of look bad on our part. So let's just put like a three part away from here and let's make a new road to where we can have ourselves the water so we can make sure our precious pea fowls are getting the water they need. If their sprinkler doesn't have water, then they don't have water. Perfect. So the guests might be able to see it, but there's likelihood that they won't even go down this way because the staff take down this way. Hey, Omeima just had a new cub, a new wild dog. That's beautiful. That means we have what, four of them? <gasps> Look, we just got a new puppy. Look, ah, a beautiful dog named Ekon. Econ, I know Econ. Econ's a beautiful little dog. Oh, you're so beautiful. You have fun, bud. You enjoy your new home. Look, we have new fowl already, new pea fowl in the zoo. These animals are nuts. I didn't think they'd be making babies this fast. I have an idea. Let's try and hire ourselves some new staff members. People to make sure that the places are clean. Here we go. A new caretaker. How many people do I have working for me now? Like eight caretakers? Four keepers? Wow. Okay. And other staff to keep our zoo afloat because we are increasing our guests by the day. Look at that. 1,125 guests. We keep increasing guests because we keep expanding our zoo. Oh, wow. Just filling in this spot right here. This looks like this is going to have an insane insane amount of animals. We could have so much more. We could add a really big pin here. All right, we were talking about this area and how I was wanting to possibly have two new animals or one new animal here. So I could take away this divider and have brand new section of animal, but what habitat would I make that's so large? I have an idea, but it's a bit risky. Ooh, but we could get ourselves a gigantic giraffe. You know how tall a giraffe can get? Giraffes are like this tall. <laughs> But we could get ourselves a giraffe. Let's try and get ourselves two new giraffes. Let's go for reticulated giraffes. Perfect. Now all I need to do is learn about the giraffe and then I can make them their great and beautiful habitat. Let's go ahead and send these two to the quarantine area real quick. Okay, we got ourselves a basic structure on this habitat. Let's try and make a nice area for the giraffes to hang out. Okay, so it looks like our two giraffes are ready to leave quarantine and we can get them into our new exhibit. Finally, we can get the giraffes a new home. So they're going to be moving here in a bit. I should try and get these barriers to be better than just the brick ones. Let's get these ones to be glass. Awesome, awesome. Okay, and let's get this one to be a one way as well. Well, and these back walls can all kind of resemble the same one-way mirror. Cool. Can't wait to see these beautiful giraffes. I see them. I see them coming around. Oh, so here he comes. What's inside of the box? Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is going to be nuts. What? That's one big giraffe. Holy cow. Okay. Now I see why the feeder is so large. We got one of our giraffes inside their new habitat. And we got a second one too. Whoa. And that guy is gigantic. Okay. So we got our giraffes. We just need to get ourselves a hard shelter for our giraffes for them to be able to get nice and cozy at the end of the night. Do you think they should get one that's kind of tall? How are they going to get under a hard shelter? What? Oh, that one looks okay. Let's put it right here. Hard shelter complete. Now let's move this. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Oh, I forgot the most important thing that I need to do as a facility that has animals in it. It's best if we have areas for them to donate to the animals. It's a beautiful thing they could do. Look at that. We have giraffes, guys. We have giraffes. We've got pea fowls. We've got two different types of apes and they are beautiful, beautiful lion families. Like we have like five members of our lion family. Like what? Look, it's a beautiful mom just sleeping up here. Oh, it's not even a mom. That's one of her babies who grew up. In the beginning of this episode, it was a cub. Now look at this. We have a beautiful daughter and dogs. Don't forget, we still have our puppies over here. What's up, little guy? How's it going? This, I think this is our new pup. I hope you guys are enjoying this. It looks like everyone here is crowded around and we're at, what? 1,300 guests, guys. That's good. That's a pretty good amount. I mean, what more could I do besides expand this gigantic zoo more and more? Because look, we haven't even started to take over this plot. So I could make more and more of these. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should do that? I'm pretty sure I should make this zoo as gigantic 
realistic and ridiculous as possible because why wouldn't I? Look, I'm owning all of these beautiful creatures. Right on my screen, there's that beautiful giraffe that we got today. I hope you're enjoying this giraffe. Things have been going up and up from here. My zoo has been popping off as well as all of these beautiful creatures being able to be added into Planet Zoo. I have never owned this many animals in my life, nor have I thought I would have a zoo this great. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please click that like button for me. I'd appreciate it. Also, drop a comment down below. Let me know what animals you would love to see in this zoo. Mark your favorite moment that you saw from this episode and click that subscribe button. That way you can stay with me and everything that I do on my channel. Trust me, you want to see where this zoo goes from here. Now, before we go, there's one more video right here. If you waited this long, you might as well click on it because this video is about to end. Yeah, that's right. When this video ends, you'll have this video to watch. So please click it. It's a good video. I'm in it. I played it. It was a fun one.